So today, I am going to be throwing about four or five mugs, depending on um, the availability in the back. Depending on <laughs> depending on how many wreck, and I'm trying to copy this shape. Elsa's going to make a bunch of handles while I'm throwing these. And later on, I'm going to use the airbrush to glaze them, so t stay tuned for that. So here's my second mug. Um, just finishing it up. It's a little bigger than the first one because I had more clay. But Elsie made eight handles, so we're going to have some extras. <laughs> okay, this is my third one. Just taking it off. The shape on this one turned out pretty much the same as the last, except the top is a little bit maybe thicker, which I'm fine with. The face is a little bit thinner, but it's going to be fine. Alright, so this is my fourth mug. Just finished throwing it. I actually really like the shape on this one. The base is nice, too. It's closer to the size of the first one. I didn't have as big of a piece of clay. There it is. Now I'm going to be trimming my mugs. I'm starting out with the smallest one, the first one I made. Needs to be smoothed a little bit, but there it is. Yeah, I like the shape. So I will trim the rest of them off camera, and then I will show you how to attach your handle. Here's my first mug. Here's my first handle, and I'm going to just attach them. So it's been a while. I smoothed all of my mugs. Here they are. All five are completed. And next, I will be bisque firing them, and then in the next shot, you'll see me glazing them. So here we are. I have all five of my mugs um, bisque fired, and now I'm going to glaze them. This is the airbrush that we have, and this is the glaze I'm using. It's, it's a new one called Blue Spark, so it's going to be cool to see how it turns out. That was kind of clumsy, but it is smoother than the last one. A little patchy. Obviously, getting the handle for this is going to be tricky, so I'm just going to paint the handle, like the inside of the handle. But other than that, that's a pretty smooth application. So here are my finished um, mugs. I'm really happy with how they turned out, actually. The glaze is kind of hard to see in the shade. This is one of the small ones. You can see it has different patterns depending on how thick it is. The inside looks really cool. Um, here's one of the big ones. It has more of a green tinge on this side, and then it's blue on this side. I think it just depends on how thick the glaze is. We'll definitely be using this glaze again, I would say. So, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, and we also have an Etsy store, so check it out, link in the description.